Hello and welcome to another reading vlog. So myself, Amanda from Ginger Snap Reads, Sarah from Sarah Shells, The Reviews Digest, and Jayla from La La Love Slit, uh, we are all buddy reading Credence together. We kind of formed a like mini buddy reading book club last month where we read Den of Vipers together, which was an interesting time. So this month um, we're reading another like taboo romance and it is Credence. I have never read a Penelope Douglas book before so I figured I would vlog the experience. She's like a fairly popular taboo romance author. She writes a lot of like the darker romances so I've been wanting to read her books for a while. I just never really got around to it um, and some of her books made me nervous so I figured I'd vlog this experience. I know the basic premise of the book should be interesting. I did glance at the first couple pages and I love that there is a playlist to go along with the book so that should be fun. Let's get started. Um, no one told me that girl is 17 when the book starts. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that at all. Mm, okay. We'll see. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, time for a little bit of an update. Um, first of all, I realized I did not talk at all about what Credence is about. Credence is about a girl, her parents die, um, very, very tragically. Woof. She ends up going to live with her step-uncle and step-cousins in the mountains in a cabin in the woods. And things happen and progress from there. So, so far we have met the step-uncle in person. He's um, seems nice enough so far. Um, he doesn't, he isn't super weird. This book does give me like a little bit of horror movie vibes. I have concerns for this girl. Like I know what happens basically and the way that the people in this town also talk like they they go into a candy store in the town and the candy the candy man he mentions the one of the brothers being a bit wild so um interesting to see what that means so far my concerns are a the step uncle thing um she didn't even really know that she had this uncle and these cousins until her parents died and they aren't actually related in any sort of way. Still weird. It's still, mm, still giving me weird vibes. We'll see what happens from here. Should be interesting. So we've officially met one of the brothers. The other brother is mysteriously not there. So we've met Noah. So Jake is the step uncle. Noah is the younger brother and Caleb is the older brother. Caleb is the one we have not met yet. Seems a bit wild. We don't really know what's going on with Caleb. It's Caleb with a K too. Red flag. But we have met Noah. Again, he seems nice. It, it's very funny. I, I can never remember. Tiernan? Tiernan I think is her name. Um, She is such a like moody 17 year old girl doesn't really like to talk a lot that's kind of her like personality traits she's very introverted doesn't really like to talk a lot she does have a little bit of not like other girls going like i don't like caramel macchiatos like whatever girl it's giving me spooky spooky cabin in the woods away from the rest of the town like are are they gonna murder her i don't know at this point Y'all, this town is so weird. Like, I know it's a small town, but like, why is everyone in this town so weird? And their big thing is like motocross. That's like the thing in this town. I think not too much has happened yet. It's like not super interesting yet, so I'm hoping it picks up soon. I am about like 80 pages in. Hopefully things happen. I am so far not liking the uncle anymore. Mm -mm. He is like way too controlling for someone who has just met this girl. He had a whole conversation with a woman who used to be her, her like mom's secretary who like has known her since she was a child. And he's pretending like he's like we're her, you know, she belongs with us. And it's like you don't know her. It's weird. 
So we've met Caleb. I had a right to be concerned. This one, okay, so far this book isn't as bad as Den of Vipers, so at least there's that. I don't think anything could beat Den of Vipers with just how bad it was. The introduction of Caleb was something. This is gonna be spoilery. So boy comes in from being just living in the woods for who knows how long, a week, two weeks, who knows, um, covered in like deer blood and then starts making out with his cousin who he doesn't know is his cousin but and things just went a little too far for them to be okay she said no one too many times for it to be okay if it had like paused a little bit sooner i would have been like mm, okay okay fine um but yeah things went a little too far for me we'll see about this caleb guy so far i'm not I, I'm okay with Noah. He seems fun. He seems a bit alpha male-y, but he seems fun. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we have officially come to the end of our reading sprints. I got to page 114, so not too bad. Um, and we are going to be trying to get to chapter 20 before our next sprints, which honestly I don't think will be too hard so far. The book's fine. I'm not loving it, and so far, it's it's a little boring, honestly. Like, I expected more. I wanted more shock, but I guess that's not what this one is about. So, we'll see if I get shocked a little more, a little further along. We'll see what happens. Um, I might read a little bit more tonight, and then read, I think, like, a hundred more pages before our next sprints. Hi! Um, so it's been a couple days. Last night I made some more progress in Credence and I got a physical copy of the book because I give in to peer pressure. Well, spot so far, I'm currently on page, currently on page 196, chapter 13. I like Noah. I actually do genuinely like Noah. He hasn't given me any reason to dislike him. There's kind of this big conflict of like, Noah doesn't want to stay up in the mountains, he doesn't like being there, but his dad kind of makes him stay because familiar, familial obligation. He wants to see the world, he wants to travel. I totally, I vibe with Noah. Caleb, it's hard to say how I feel about Caleb because his whole thing is he doesn't talk, so we don't really get anything from him. I am interested to see if at some point we get a POV from him. Um, cause so far we've gotten POVs from, I mean, it's mostly Tiernan, but we have gotten some POVs from Jake, good old uncle Jake, <laughs> look, threw up in my mouth a little bit and we've gotten one from Noah as well. Don't like Jake. <laughs> he makes me so uncomfy. <laughs> I, I, I can't justify any of his actions so far. All of the guys are like way too possessive of her. Um, for the fact that they've only known her for like a week. There is definitely starting to be more action now, um, so at least there's that, but oh, there's definitely times where I'm like reading and I'm just like, mm, no. We're going to be, I think, trying to finish the book in sprints tomorrow, so I have about a hundred pages that I have to read tonight. My, my thing is, is that I just, why does she have to be 17? Why, why was that a thing? Why was that a choice that we made, Miss Penny B? I think the thing is, is she reads like she's 17. Like she really does feel 17. She's like moody, she's angsty. She, she sounds 17, which is what makes it all just a little uncomfy. Things are starting to happen between her and the guys. There was one part where she did kind of start to take a little bit of initiative and I'm like, you go girl. Um, but she's still 17. We'll see what I end up thinking at the end of this, but yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to try and read a hundred pages tonight so that I can be at chapter 20 when we start sprints tomorrow. Okay. So last night I did read those 100 pages. We're about to go into sprints, uh, in about 15 minutes. So that should be fun. It's early. I didn't get much sleep. Um, so that's great. A lot happened in the past 100 pages. Um, so I'm on chapter 22. I did read a little bit ahead. Whoops. 
Um, but here we are. My thoughts so far are just... Mm, there's like... Okay, here's the thing. I don't think I would not like it as much if A, they weren't all related. B, she wasn't 17 when this all started. You know? Like, if she had been already like 19, 20... Um, I know, like, the circumstances wouldn't have worked quite as well, but I feel like they still could have worked. Yeah, I just, I feel like, I feel like they could have, uh, there could have been something to make it so that she wasn't literally a child. Um, so there's that. And, um, unfortunately, just some of the things that have happened in the past hundred pages have not been good. It has now passed her birthday, so she is 18, and they are taking full advantage of that let's just say i already know just from the way that she talks like her end game is going to be caleb like i i can already tell that's what's gonna happen i will be shocked i like noah um he does have a little bit of a nice guy complex going on in terms of like he feels like he's owed something um from her because they like got along the best when she first arrived and like they're closest in age, which part of me is like, mm, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. But um, you can just tell that it's gonna be Caleb, which is unfortunate considering how they met. Anyway, we're uh, going to go to Sprints. I'm gonna make myself some coffee in like five minutes. And yeah, I will check in maybe while we're sprinting. I got to chapter 23, which is one that Manda was very excited for us to get to, and I can I can see why. <laughs> Here's the thing. Again, would have liked it more if they weren't related. If they weren't brothers, would have been a lot better. It would have been way better. <laughs> this kind of just confirmed the fact that I think her endgame is going to be Caleb. Because, because a lot of the time Noah's just kind of there and like she enjoys him, but like she very clearly is more into Caleb. I'm gonna keep reading because I gotta try and keep up with these guys because they're dropping things. They're way faster at reading than I am. So um, yeah, check in very soon. I'm just checking in real quick to say that I like, I like Tiernan. I, I actually do really like her as a character. I think she's very believable as an 18 year old. She also does kind of call out the guys quite a bit on their problems. Um, like so with Caleb, he doesn't really talk. He's dealing with some trauma and that's why he doesn't talk. Uh, we're explained what happened. But she definitely calls him out on the fact that it's like, it's not even just that he doesn't talk, it's that he doesn't communicate in any sort of way. And he just throws these fits. Um, and I think part of the problem is, of course, it seems like Jake has kind of babied him and just let him do whatever he wants, which is, of course, a problem. <sighs> Men. Um, he very clearly just needs to go to therapy. I think they all just need to go to therapy. Let's be real for a second. It's very clear that she's going to end up with Caleb. He just, he needs to communicate in some way. Like, he doesn't need to talk, but he needs to communicate with her. And that's the problem. I like that Jake has backed off. Thank goodness. Also pretty sure Jake and um, the assistant lady, I forget her name, Mir Mirin, um, there, there's something that's gonna, they're hinting at something happening with them, um, which at least she's more age appropriate. Why is there so much baby talk? Why is there so much pregnancy talk? Why is there so much baby talk? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I just came in here to say that real quick. Okay, <laughs> let's go. All right, so we just finished with sprints and I am officially done with Credence by Penelope Douglas. And here are my thoughts. I say I give it like three stars, um, more like 2.5 stars, but I'll give it three stars. I have some issues with the writing. Um, I feel like the characters, I think Tiernan is actually a really wonderful character. I had said that a couple times already. I really like her as a character. I think she went through some really great development. I don't really like any of the guys in the book, which is unfortunate. I feel like in the end, Noah redeemed himself because um, he was kind of pissing me off towards the like mid to three quarters of the way and then kind of the last quarter of the book he redeemed himself, at least for me. He definitely saw that the Tiernan liked Caleb more and that was definitely more drawn to him. And so he kind of backed off and basically was like, okay, 
I get it. Like, I like you, but like, I get that that's not the kind of relationship that we're going to have. It's more of a friendship. And I love that. So way to go, Noah. Jake ended up backing off, um, which is good, <laughs> as he should have, because he is an adult in this situation, and he definitely took advantage of Tiernan and her, like, vulnerable state, which I did not like at all. As for Caleb, I liked the last chapter, not the epilogue, but the last chapter. I liked it. I wish that we had seen more of the, like, development and him wanting to change for her because I feel like it did kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah, I wish, I, I, uh, most of the book is from Tiernan's perspective, but we do see stuff from Noah, we see, see stuff from Jake, we see a little bit from Caleb. I wish we had seen more. I genuinely just wish we had seen more from him because I feel like I would have liked him more if we'd seen more of his thought process. And the one chapter that we did get before the epilogue, the one chapter that we did get was not good. I did not. I like ended up hating him even more after that chapter because he has some like anger issues and he needs to go to therapy. Go to therapy, my dude. Hmm. Yikes. Don't just go into the cabin in the woods and think about things, but like actually seek professional help. The epilogue felt very epilogue of Hunger Games to me, which I did not like the whole like, we're gonna tie everything up with this neat little bow. Um, and there's babies and mm, there was way too much baby talk in this book too, which again made me uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> but I also just don't like babies. Anytime they're like, yes, she will carry my child. I'm just like, mm, nope, don't like that. I feel like I would have liked it more if A, she had been older from the start and B, they weren't all related, which is basically the premise of this book. So maybe this book just isn't for me. <laughs> Will I read any more Penelope Douglas? Probably not. From what I've heard, a lot of her like heroes and stuff tend to be similar. And again, I just don't like that. And I don't like that it's a lot of like younger, young women with older guys. I don't like that at all. I don't mind age gaps, but this is just too young. There we go. I finally read my first Penelope Douglas book. Um, you know, I didn't have a bad time. Didn't have a great time. Didn't have a bad time though. If you've read any Penelope Douglas, let me know down below which one is your favorite of hers. I'm very curious to know because um, I know this one is popular. I know Birthday Girl is popular, but I'm very curious what other people's favorites of hers are because um, she's definitely a well-beloved author on here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, bye!